Hello everyone and welcome back to Programming in Access 2013, the advanced course. My name is Steve Bishop and in today's video it's going to be the conclusion to our advanced course. So we've done quite a few things in this advanced series. We've migrated our backend file to a SQL Server database so that we could have a more robust backend for our application. We've uh, created subforms on our regular forms, which adds some complexity to what our viewers see on our front end. And we've even used the DAO and ADO objects in order to connect to that backend SQL Server. We've also created a, uh, an installation package that we can easily uh, distribute to our users and just does all the setup work for us. So there's a lot of great things that we've learned in this advanced course, and I hope that it has helped you in your own environments to really kind of make your application much more robust. And uh, I really kind of geared this advanced course series more towards the enterprise level development so that you can uh, make your applications much more uh, user friendly and, and um, um, portable for your business environment. Uh, I just want to quickly say uh, thank you to everybody who has watched the basic series and this advanced course series. Uh, I hope you guys have learned something from it. I hope that it's really advanced you in your own careers and, and helped you to build an application that's usable in your environment. Um, if you feel so inclined, I do have a donate option on the main page, as you can find on youtube.com forward slash programming made easy. Uh, if, you so f you know, if you feel so inclined to donate, you're more than welcome to. Um, but please don't feel any pressure to do so. I didn't have any intention of making money by doing this video series. I just kind of found that um, some people were looking to, to donate because they found these series helpful. Uh, so I, I just kind of want to reemphasize that there is that, that option. Um, as for what's going to happen with the channel and Access 2016, uh, I don't really plan on doing an Access 2016 series, at least right now. Perhaps I will. Uh, Access, I'm, I'm very fond of Access. It's really kind of where I started my career. So, um, you know, I might, I might do an Access 2016 series. Um, but honestly, everything that you've learned in the basic and advanced course for 2013 is applicable to 2016. I, I've looked under the hood of 2016 and it's identical to 2013. So there's nothing really that different between the two versions as, as of this video. Um, what I do plan on doing though is continuing to do some of the how-to videos because I've had some excellent suggestions on some videos to do. Uh, so I will still be doing some how-to videos for access. But the channel as a whole will probably be taking a different turn. Uh, I plan on doing some .NET videos because uh, that's where my own personal career has started to move. And it's kind of what I know now. It's, it's something that I, I have learned. And just as I felt a responsibility to give back to the community for access, I feel the same kind of responsibility for the .NET world. I, I really think that uh, .NET is a wonderful environment, a, a, a wonderful framework for you to develop applications in. And uh, I just feel like it's a good idea to move the channel in that direction. And really, when I first started the channel, that was my intention anyway, was to have multiple programming languages. But Access was the most, uh, the, the most familiar to me at the time, so I wanted to put this access, these Access series out for you. But uh, I think it's time to move on to some of the more robust frameworks that allows uh, people to build some really neat things in, in their environment. So anyway, once again, I want to thank everybody for watching this advanced series. I hope you guys have learned a lot. Uh, please feel free to leave your comments and uh, you know even your criticisms below in the comment section of this video. On, uh, I will do my best to answer them. If you, uh, if you feel so inclined, please feel free to like, favorite, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, every little bit helps, and, and you get updates and notifications whenever I post new videos. So I think that's probably helpful to you guys. And uh, hope to see you guys in those other series. Thank you so much.